What is Network Load Balancing, NLB? The Network Load Balancing, NLB, feature distributes traffic across several servers by using the TCP slash IP networking protocol. By combining two or more computers that are running applications into a single virtual cluster, NLB provides reliability and performance for web servers and other mission-critical servers. The servers in an NLB cluster are called hosts, and each host runs a separate copy of the server applications. NLB distributes incoming client requests across the hosts in the cluster. NLB allows all of the computers in the cluster to be addressed by the same set of IP addresses, and it maintains a set of unique, dedicated IP addresses for each host. For load-balanced applications, when a host fails or goes offline, the load is automatically redistributed among the computers that are still operating. When it is ready, the offline computer can transparently rejoin the cluster and regain its share of the workload, which allows the other computers in the cluster to handle less traffic. Lab requirements of network load balancing. Two Windows Server, one is domain and another is client. Dual LAN connection of both server. One client machine for testing. This is our Windows Server 2022. Our computer name is, server. Our domain name is, stb.local. We have two LAN connections on this server. One is, 172.16.0.1. And the second LAN connection IP address is 10.0.0.1. Go to another server machine. This is our Windows Server 2022. Our computer name is, Server2. And this machine is domain member. We have two LAN connections on this server. One is, 172.16.0.2. And the second LAN connection IP address is 10.0.0.2. Now I am going to install Web Services IIS on both server. Click on Dashboard. Click Add Roles and Feature. Click Next. Select Role Based and Feature Based Installation then click Next. Click Next. Click on Web Server IIS. Click Add Feature. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click Yes. Click Install. Go to another server machine. On this server also we have to install Web Server IIS. Click Add Roles and Feature. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click on Web Server IIS. Click Add Feature. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click Yes. Click Install. As long as IIS is being installed on this server. Till then we go to other servers and see if it is installed or not. Now web server IIS is installed on this server. Click close. When we do testing, we should know from which server the cluster is opening the web page. If we do not edit our web page, then the default web page of both the servers is the same, then it will be difficult to know from which server web page is being opened. Open file explorer. Click on this PC. Open C drive. Double click on INET pub folder. Double click www root folder. Right click and edit the IIS start PNG file. Now I am going to write text, server 1. Let's save file. 
After save, let's close this file. Go to another server machine. Here we will edit our web page to see the differences. Here also we have to follow the same steps which we did to edit the web page on server 1. Now I am going to write text, server 2. Let's save file. After save, let's close this file. After web server IIS installed, now we will install the NLB network load balancing feature on both our servers. Click add roles and feature. Click next. Click next. Click next. Click next. Let's drop down little bit. Select Network Load Balancing. Click Add Feature. Click Next. Click Restart the destination server automatically if required. Click Yes. Click Install. Go to another server machine. Here also we have to install the Network Load Balancing feature. We have to follow the same steps as we did to install NLB on server 2. Now I will check server 2, the NLB feature is installed or in process. Now NLB feature is installed in server 2. Go to domain server, server 1. So network load balancing feature is installed on both server. Now this time to create and configure cluster in network load balancing manager. I will do this whole process on server 2. Go to server 2. Click tools. Click network load balancing manager. Right click on network load balancing cluster. Select new cluster. Fill the IP address of domain server. 172.16.0.1 Click Connect Click Next Click Next Set the cluster IP address Click Add Here you will enter the cluster IP that you want to keep the cluster IP 172.16.0.150 Subnet mask is default. Click OK. Click Next. Fill the full internet name. www.stb.local Select Multicast. Click Next. Click Edit. Uncheck the All. Port range is 80 to 80. Protocol, leave as default. Filtering mode, select multiple host and select none. Click OK. Click Finish. Here the cluster is still in process because we have kept the full name of the cluster www.stb.local, we have to get the entry of www in DNS. Click Tools. Click DNS. Expand Forward Lookup Zone. Right click on Domain Name and select New Host A. Type the name www. Type Cluster IP Address. 172.16.0.150 
Click Add Host. Click OK. Click Done. Right click on domain name and select Reload. Click Yes. Let's close DNS. Go to Server 2. Green symbol is host is successfully added. Now we have to add another host to share the equally network load. Right click on www.stb.local, select add host to cluster. Fill the server to IP address. 172.16.0.2 Click connect. Select. 172.16.0.2 Click Next Click Next Click Finish Now both server is added successfully. Go to Domain Server, Server 1. Open Network Load Balancing Manager. As you have seen our clustering is also configured on server 1. Now this time to check our NLB clustering is working or not. Go to Windows 11 machine. Go to run and type. ncpa.cpl. Click OK. Go to Ethernet properties. Double click on TCP IP version 4. Add cluster IP address in DNS. 172.16.0.150 Click Add. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. Let's close network connection. Open web browser. Click Complete Setup. Type in browser www.stb.local Currently the web page is open on server 2. Go to server 2. Go to web server IIS. Now I am going to stop web server on this machine. Go to Windows 11 machine. Let's close web browser. Open web browser again. Type in browser www.stb.local As you know, we have stopped the web server IIS of server 2. And now you are seeing that our web page is being opened through server 1. This means our network load balancing manager is working fine. So viewers, in this video you can learn how to install and configure network load balancing. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.